Hey guys, Kaido here, here with a Kha'Zix VOD review. This is apparently the best Chinese Kha'Zix and I'll be doing a pretty quick review. I just pretty much chose the first VOD on this channel and I'm going to review his early game. His first like 8-12 to 12 minutes pretty much and give you my thoughts on his gameplay. And then at the end of the video, I'll talk about his build more in depth. So let's get right into the video. Here, rest side of this game, Kha'Zix vs Lilia. Just doing it's probably a standard for full clear. This is matchups, let's see. It's Hui into Jays, so it should be pretty even. He has Lucian, Milio versus Twitch Janna, so they have quite the edge in Balin. And Olaf into Singe, so he pretty much has perm pro top the whole game. So let's see what he will do with his lanes. See how he plays around Grubs after this clear. Or even Drake. Yeah. And then for his own jungle matchup. It's pretty... I would say it's kind of even. But if you ever do find Lily off guard, you kind of just kill her. She's pretty fairly squishy champion. But she has, she's pretty strong in 2v2 setting. Or just like more number setting because her ult is pretty disgusting to play against. You, you kind of just will die. Oh yeah, and his runes. So he has Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Relentless. Yeah, this is pretty much my favorite. I don't really like Treasure Hunter because I don't think the extra gold is necessary. Because if you do run mar uh, market like he is secondary, you are pretty much guaranteed Dirk recall after your full clear. And then he has free boost secondary, which is uh, just pretty much the standard. I mean, it's always just been one of the best runes in the last few years of Legends. Having free boots saves you pretty much 300 gold. And it's not like you need boots early game on the champion. And also, yeah, the thing about Relentless is that it gives you out of combat movement speed, which is like so nice. And you also want boost my too, so later on... Depending on which of Wolf he goes, he'll be moving around the map quite fast. He just finishes full clear at 3.30. He did save his fight, that's why it took him that long. He also is running Ghost, which is quite unique. I mean, it's probably, he's probably r -Evolve. I think when you run Ghost, you're probably going r -Evolve setup. Because you kind of just want to run around and be annoying to the enemy team. Oh, he didn't buy dirt. Oh, wait, well, yeah, no, there it is. He almost misbought that one item. I don't know what it's called, that component. But it's for Yumu's an opportunity, I think, also. He's hovering over Profane Hydra. So I think he's planning to build out seconds. It's looking top right here. I don't know if it's anything, but yeah, just doing his two camps. Let's see if he prioritizes Grubs after his Raptors. His top side theory theory is fairly strong and also Lilia is in six, so he's a lot stronger than Lilia with his Dirk Spike. And Olaf has edge on Singe. He also has first recall. Both of these laners' conditions are actually very fucking insane for this Heralds. Oh I mean Grubs. Oh wait, Lilia's ganking bot. It doesn't even look that bad though. Like he should just, he should just go straight to Grubs here. Wow, Lucian traded in the 2v3. Wow, this seems incredibly troll to ne not do Grubs here. Like him just tunneling on full clear here is just like watching my typical diamond jungler when I play off roll just fucking completely ignoring the objective. Because from this play itself, you will get these Grubs. You will get all three actually, especially when you saw Jay's go bot and. When you, we talked about your matchups earlier, you have complete edge in both your solo matchups this game. So you can do these groves and then go back into your bot side, do both camps. And because their tempo is so fucked, because they lost a pretty much like 2v4 setting, you will get Drake also. So you pretty much mon everything on the map just because you're balling pretty much 2v4. They're balling mid and jungle. It's actually kind of disgusting to see. Him not do the grubs, and he's gonna do Drake anyways. But this Drake is pretty much his, regardless, because their jungle jungler is just fucked from the bot play. Like just from this bot itself, he has pretty much three winning lanes. He also has 
three lanes of pro and he can always just that's kill that's their mid for free this game with Hui. Yeah, he just has pretty much better comp and he didn't abuse the strengths of his laners that well. Even though he's given clear advantages in the game. Well, either way, he's doing crab. I mean, it's mid soul killed. Who's going on top? Lily's just doing grubs. I mean, it's all her only play. Okay, it's resetting here. Let's see what he buzz. So it looks like he actually goes per frame seconds. I mean, it doesn't seem that bad at all. Oh yeah, and he also evolved R. I mean, it's kind of expected. I think R evolve and Ghost synergy is very good. But Ghost with like Q evolve, not really the greatest. He's going for another full clear. It looks like this guy just tunnels on full clear a lot, which is I just think is a bad habit. But at least he looks like his lanes, so honestly, I'll give him that. I think uh, people who tend to be very hard full clearers do not even like bother looking at their lanes. But at least he's kind of paying attention. I wonder if he does this in like every game where he's promo full clear. He's just one of those junglers. This champion, I mean, this champion has a lot of plays he can make. And just from this game alone, where I see he has a lot of advantages and he didn't use them, uh, I wonder what he does in games where his team is actually on the losing side and then he's not able to full clear. And in like those kind of games as a jungler, you kind of have to find unique ways in coming back into the game. So, I mean, maybe we'll do more bar reviews in the future of this guy but right now like not really impressed at all but i have heard that his build is pretty nice actually so we'll see man this guy is just honestly a pig just perma firing doesn't even look to invade and also when you're gonna play like this and hold red trinket like, what is the point if you're not going to plan to invade or anything? I'd rather just sit on the yellow trinket, give wards to my laners, or after my full clear, look to, in, like, what do you call it, go into your jungle, drop some wards. So, like, at least, like, you're doing something for the game as a jungler. But, like, right now, like, he's just completely picking out, actually doing nothing. But if he wards for his team, so so his lanes, lanes can't get ganked, or, like, after his full clear, he invades enemy jungle towards his camp so you know where Lily can be and try oh what the fuck Lily's just here trolling I guess I mean that guy should never ult there but you know it's all good I'm just gonna just that as fuck okay him popping ghost here is just so for fun but you know it's fine whatever if we're gonna play very greedy like this like at least buy one pick pink for your team and just drop it on like a safe area and I can show it after actually. I have this water view where things you can do to pick out more in your game. Basically, like farm it out more and play for your scaling. Because I mean, R evolve tends to scale very well into the game because you go RW evolve into your last Evo. You so you have a lot of utility. And he's just going back to his camps. He just. He should have based the uh, way sooner so he can clear down for Drake, but his efficiency is very bad. Uh, I would say. Smith died. I wonder if he just goes to his boss like camps after Raptors. Even though he shouldn't, he should actually just base. And it matches mid's tempo here. Nope, he's just going to his Raptors. Wow. He should just base here, get his components, then go, you be matching with his mid laners, timer, and then when his mids walk out pushing this next wave, he'll be coming out on the map, and he can look to, to do his two camps and invade, or he can just straight up invade, then play for Drake and to exit his bot camps, is the more how you will play he would do. He's sitting on 1800 gold. 
And look, if their team, I mean, their ball is so behind, so like, he's actually unpunished for this. His wolf is playing strong in the river. He actually could just be here in the river with uh, item advantage, and his top 3 is actually like pretty strong. Like, even though they have Liliar, like, Olaf can't really be Lily ulted, right? And if Quay plays herself, like, they could just win the top side 3 3 2, and then Lily actually has zero play on the map. It's not like she has to play bot side, bot's losing. Your mid has Pryo, and you are pretty strong on the 2 2. Actually, 2 2, you're pretty weak, but like, you can look for a fast play. But his Olaf's just does. And now he's just on the map with 2k golds. Honestly, this guy seems pretty confused. Oh, what to do in this kind of situation where he's blessed with three strong lanes. I mean, Lily was just topside, so he should have wrapped around and played the top of their bot. But he's just not. Like, especially when you see this, like, he should check his camps, and then when he sees this notification that they, he's taking grubs, like, these guys should be, uh, like, die and ball in. He can also, like, pull his mid, but getting his bot camps too. Then maybe exit the crab. And his ballin had all sums and ults, so it's definitely very diveable. Can do it in two turns. So, like, you know, dive once, get their HP, walk out, reset the aggro. The tower aggro and then redive again. Oh, he so he buys the dirk and he sits on it, and looks like he's buying straight up profane hydra. Wow. Honestly, let's just go look at the end game builds. This guy's kind of a noob, but I want to see his build. Maybe I can abuse it. Maybe he actually just just has a good build, but. Doesn't play his champ that well, in my opinion. Or actually, it's all about playing the champion well. It's about playing the map as a jungler. He doesn't really play that well. Like, you can be good at your champion, but the way, like, you can only go so high in LP doing that. Like, you eventually just have to be a good player, good jungler. Because doing this, if he plays like this consistently, like, I don't see how you climb actually. Like, if they're a jungler had more agency in the game like you can just be so losing your team in the game playing like this i'm gonna watch like in the two minutes then probably skip to the end see his items in the late game plays looks like he's waiting for lily here he also has boost mine upgraded so pretty strong oh i would wait he he should ult here he should have already ulted he has three charges he shouldn't need to greed and then maybe like he doesn't get spot on the ward, but it looks like that bush was warded. So Jay's, I mean, you can see Jay's like straight, start walking left when he was actually yeah, passing through the river. But they get both kills, so I mean, it's fine. Okay, let's go to the let's see. So he bots the Dirk, sits on it pretty much the whole game. He has CD boots, yeah. Uh, and he calls us over. Little CD boots, gives you damage. More CD, pretty much like. Your CDR is lower, so that is equals to more damage. Use your pre CDR reliant champ. Profane Hydra into Grudge. Into you, I don't think it actually matters what's after the Profane Hydra and Grudge, as long as as long as it's lethality. That's all that matters. I mean, yeah, the game is just over. He goes Evolve third, which should be normal. Yeah, let's just talk about what he could have done better this game. So let's look at warding. So this game, you're gonna look at red side because he, I mean, he was red side. So these would be areas you would ward while you're clearing your camps. And you can tell from these wards that your layers are pretty protected from any types of ganks. You can also ward uh, the line brushes mid lane, which are the long bushes for your mid laner. So they are safe. And then let's look at wards when we're done our clear. So when you're done your clear, I mean, you will you can walk into their jungle, depending on the game state, and you can ward areas like this that will give you a lot of information on where they are while they're clearing, or any like areas they want to go to, like to Grubs or Drake, etc. And then for defensive pinks, these would be some pink choices that would protect your laners, and they won't really get cleared. 
I mean, they can, but you can defend them pretty easily because you are Kha'Zix, so you win the 1v1 isolation. And then aggressive pink lines will be these. You can do them after you clear or when you want to invade. And this, these pinks just give you a lot of information and allow you to make very aggressive plays on the map. Being an assassin and having information on where the enemy location is is a very big advantage for your champion because you can catch them off guard and just one shot them when they will uh, when they least expect it as for his build it's not bad but i don't think i very much agree with Srilo's grudge after the profane i think it's only purchasable if like they have a, lot, a decent amount of armor when you hit your profane but otherwise i think you should look to complete your dirk item and then look to build your situational items afterwards but yeah, I mean, the team out is very good for his farming in the early to mid game transition. So I can see why he would buy it. Sometimes some games will be very AFK, so you should prioritize farming. And they also help you take objective, well, like the grubs specifically. But overall, this build, it's okay, but don't really much agree with the grudge purchase. And then from the raw review, pretty much this is what I got. I mean, you should not never tunnel on farming unless like it's good for the game's the current game state at least. And there's a lot of things he could have like easily solo lost his team the game because he actually didn't really impact at all, like impact the game at all for his team. And even when he was giving a straight advantage when his bot is like two v fouring pretty much in terms of numbers, like he didn't capitalize on anything on the map. But uh, other than like the drink at the end, but he could have gotten so much more off the play. But he just doesn't understand what he can capitalize off the bot advantage he was given. And this game, he was given three winning lanes. And if this is what he did with three winning lanes, like it's kind of like sad to see. Uh, don't know what rank he is actually, but this kind of gameplay to me is very like low master, very diamond level type of gameplay. And I think any good challenger jungler would have capitalized way harder on the mistakes that enemy team made when they were completely gapped on the bottom side of the map. This was my first ever water review for, like I guess for Kha'Zix game. If you guys uh, like this kind of water reviews, I can do more in the future and probably go more in depth into mid to late game because I know I only did like the early parts of the game, but I pretty much chose the first one and that's what I got. If you guys have any questions or any kind of feedback for me, just leave a comment down below. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.